Hi, I'm Jennifer Branch. Today we're starting a nine-part series on drawing for painting. No cross-hatching, no fill in the shadows, we'll do that with paint later. All we're doing is getting the correct proportions down on the paper. There's five drawing lessons and four painting tutorials. I know that's the fun part and I've picked some really good ones. So, let's start. To get things in the correct proportions, you know you've seen artists squint and hold their pencil up. Well, what they're doing is they're taking the angle of whatever the object is, say the horizon, and they're transferring it to their paper. Then they take maybe a building line and they transfer it to their paper. And then take something that connects those two things, some sort of angle line that would go between the building line and the horizon line, and they put that on. And then they have a triangle. They have a triangle with lines in the correct proportion. It may not be exactly where you want in the paper. You can shift it over. It may not be exactly the size you want. You can make it bigger. You can make it smaller. Let me show you how it's done. If you can draw a triangle, you can draw anything. Most compositions have a very strong vertical or horizontal line. Start with one of these. Here's this beautiful Venice scene. I'm starting, I have a nice right triangle. I can go either way. I can go bigger or I can go smaller on this. Very, very easy to adjust it. Okay, so let's start with a nice easy size. Notice how every, whatever size you pick, it's always in the correct proportions. So you pick some points and you just draw triangles between them. This is a pretty easy example, but notice everything isn't exactly perfect. That's because the outline's a little fuzzed and, you know, it, you correct things as you move along. So pick these points and then double check them. It's always very, very important to double check them. See all the points? I'm just connecting dot to dots. Now you double check and notice how much more accurate it is the second time around. Now you turn it into your value study. I'm having some fun with charcoal. That's all there is to it. Now you can draw anything. Here's what we're painting next week. Gorgeous Venice scene. Strong vertical, strong horizontal. Very easy to get those dots. Here's another angle and another and it just all builds off of each other. And finally, you've got a house made out of triangles. Always use a very, very light pencil um, on watercolor paper. Never use the charcoal like I was playing with with drawing. It's fun for drawing, not for your painting. Now, notice this is still just connecting the dots. That's all you have to do. You can go with as much detail as you, or as little as you want, as much as you need to get the job done. And here's what we're painting next week. And I hope you join me. Thanks for watching this video. For more information, check out my website, paintingwatercolor.com. I have a lot more drawing information on there. And see you next week. Happy painting.